In celebration of Father's Day last weekend, I thought I would refer to Robert Kiyosaki, who taught us about how we inherit our father's feelings about money and wealth in his book and his ongoing training series, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It seems we tend to have the same relationship with money and wealth and capitalism and entrepreneurialism that our own real fathers had when we were growing up. I've learned over the years that we inherit a lot more from our real parents than just our relationship with money and wealth. Perhaps I should write the book series. Happy Dad, Angry Dad. Gestapo mom, victim mom, lucky dad, unlucky dad, brave mom, timid mom, leader dad, lemming dad, task-oriented father, people-oriented father. Well, you get the point. To greater and lesser degrees, we follow the script taught us at our parents' knees. The lesser degree part of that seems to only occur when we observe that our particular inheritance isn't working for us and we're strong enough to jettison it. Case in point, 25 years ago this coming Christmas, my wife and daughters and I met my mom and dad at my uncle's home in North Carolina for family Christmas. Now it's quite temperate in North Carolina in December and we were all out in my uncle's driveway shooting hoops. At one point, my nine-year-old daughter launched a very good shot at the basket way up there. The ball rolled around the rim twice and fell out. Then in one of those slow-moving movie highlight focuses, my beautiful little nine-year-old daughter bellowed, God damn! Well, after looking shockingly at the little picture of innocence, all eyes transferred immediately to moi. What'd I do? Let's face it. Our kids mimic us, and that expletive came out of my daughter with the exact punch and timing and inflection to sound just like me, and everybody there knew it. So what habits are you mimicking that you inherited from your father or mother that isn't really working for you? What utterances come out of your mouth that's really not you, but them operating through you? And here's the tougher question. What can you or your wife or your friends see in your kids that they've already been infected with. It's not too late. I hope you all had a fun and memorable Father's Day. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm -hmm.